my channel, my name's Mel and today I'm going to be trying out the new app called Random Nautica. I think that's how you pronounce it, don't correct me on that. But I've been seeing a lot of it on YouTube and on TikTok and I thought I need to try this out because it's been out since March I believe. What you do is you put in your location and then it gives you weird places to visit. So people have been experiencing really weird things when they've put in their location on this app. So when I first heard about it, I don't know what to think of it. I was like, do I believe in this? Do I not? So I thought I may as well try it out. So when I've been watching on YouTube and TikTok about uh, people's experiences with this random Nautica app, I was like, wow, if this is real, then my God, it's up my street. So today I thought i will try it out and see if it is actually real or not because when I've watched it on YouTube I thought I gotta try it out myself to believe it because it's just one of them. People have been experiencing very weird things with their friends and they say don't go out at night and try it so I thought okay I'll try it at daytime and then maybe next time I'll try it at night time. So what I'm gonna do is watch a few TikToks on this random Nautica just to get a brief idea of what it is so I'll type in random nautica now that's not how you spell it random nautica there we go and it's got its own little symbol which is quite cute so let's just go with this one here okay so there's that dude keep an eye on that red truck Is it a glitch or something though? He's right there! Okay, okay. so there's that too. So that was the first one, that was pretty weird, but um, I don't know what that's got to do with Random Nautica, so that's not what I've heard about it. Uh, I've seen that one, that one there, that was really crazy. So I just went random naughty. <laughs> this just happened to me. So I have to try it out myself. But what I've heard was you put in your location, then you uh, choose from one of the four options, and then it says think of an intention. So say like I don't know cars, for example. You make sure you focus only on your intention. So if I was to focus on cars, that's the only thing I would think about. And when it's loading, it will give you the option of one, two, five, or ten places to look up. So, I think it's about time you tried it. So, I think I'm going to set my intention to children. I don't know why, that just came into my head. So, let's press start. So, it gives you the four options. Anomaly, Attractor, Void and Prosecco? Prosecco, why did I say Prosecco? It's getting to that time. But, I'm going to choose the first one and then set a radius of a thousand. I'm going to try out two places. So now I'm going to set start. My intention is going to be children. So think of children. That, that just sounds so random. But like kids and everything. Okay, I've got two places. So, so it notifies you on what the locations are and chapel lane so about 15 minutes 15 minutes walk from here but in the car it's eight minutes so i'm gonna go out in the car now 
and hope for the best. I've just got back from that uh, place we, that random Nautica took us to. It was a big white and white, white and black building. It took us up this driveway where there was loads of leaves on the floor. It's really pretty. But I thought, where the hell is this taking me to? How how come my intentions were children, and it's taken me to here? So you know what's all this about? When we got there, it was abandoned, which right up my street because I love abandoned buildings then I go home and do some research on it so when I got there I was in the car with my dad we drove up outside and I wasn't expecting it to be abandoned I thought it was just a place that was still in use but obviously not when I got out the car I stood outside um I looked around just to see if there was any way in I wasn't intending on, go on going in this time but Maybe next time I will, because it is an abandoned building and you know me with my abandoned buildings. <clears throat> so, when I was standing outside, I was taking pictures of it, beautiful building, can't fault it. And there was a white van parked right down the street from where we parked, well down the lane. And I thought nothing of it, just for, oh, random white van, you know. We didn't see anyone in it but there might have been someone in it but uh when i was standing taking photos someone got out that van and told us to move and i was like i'm only taking photos and then we're off and gone you know not here to cause any harm not here to cause any trouble he said it doesn't matter get in that car and leave and i was like let me just you know i'm, I'm not doing anything wrong i'm here with my dad i'm, I'm not like gonna vandalize the place i'm not into that sort of stuff but he said no you need to go so got in the car and before we were driving off he said look i you know i'm just doing my job i need this man on this bike to guide you out and i was like okay so when we got back in the car and this man was guiding us on the bike to go out it was really weird how the man in the van was acting it's just very very weird and even my dad said like he had very bad intentions there he had very bad vibes and when i got home i did do some research on this building and my dad said it's called Brineston. so looked it up and it used to be a care home my intentions were kids how can an app le lead me to this place where I've never heard of, 15 minutes up the road from me, and it's run, it's so weird. So um, when I've done my research on Bryn Aston, I think it's Bryn Aston, um, there was a case of children being tormented there, tortured, being uh, abused there. And even Jimmy Savile was a. He, I can even show you like the record of it, like all the news things and everything. But 
I just don't know how I feel about that. I was saying like how random Nautica might be like a hoax or something, might just be something for views, but my god. How can an app tell what you are thinking, what your intentions are, take you to a place that is related with kids and has a past with abuse and it's been like shut off for a reason it, because it's abandoned it's been people have been found out who were abused they've come forward told the people who were abusing them and they've shut the place down they're on about knocking it down as well but i'm, I'm freaked out freaked out isn't the word but I hope you guys liked my random nautica experience. Um, I do recommend you doing it in the daytime because nighttime might be a bit scary. But I'm going to be trying it out in the nighttime next time. That was a mouthful. Uh, yeah, I do believe in this app. So it has proven me wrong. So random nautica, you've got a new fan. <laughs> so thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like, subscribe and share. And I'll see you next time. Bye, happy Halloween. And I think to myself, what a wonderful